Welcome to Blacktail Canyon in the Grand Canyon here in northern Arizona. This is one of the probably hundreds, maybe thousands of side canyons that enter um, the Colorado River. This one's a real beautiful, narrow canyon that's been carved out by flash floods um, over time. And thanks for joining me, geology professor Sean Wilsey here on a trip through the Grand Canyon, a rafting trip. Um, and I wanted to stop in Blacktail Canyon because in addition to just the impressive scenery and beauty here, there is an astounding geologic feature. One of the, the hallmark features of the Grand Canyon is exposed very nicely and is very accessible here in Blacktail Canyon. And so the canyon has been carved out by flash floods, and as those flash floods have cut the canyon deeper, they've cut progressively through the various layers of rock. And here at ground level, the main unit we have, this very ledgy, um, kind of beige to buff-colored unit, is the Tapete Sandstone, a Cambrian-aged sandstone um, made out of grains of sand, um, some pebbles as well, a little bit bigger material on occasion. And the depositional environment for the Tapete sandstone is a, a beach, a coastal setting where rivers were feeding into uh, the ocean. And in places you might be able to pick out small cross beds, lots of layers as these river channels were flowing into, into the ocean. Um, but the big feature here is what lies just beneath the Tapete Sandstone. And the Tapete Sandstone is the lowest and oldest of the sequence of Paleozoic rocks here in the Grand Canyon. It's a unit that's about 530 oh, or so million years old. And in the Grand Canyon, the Tapete Sandstone sits in most places directly on a much older layer known as the Vishnu Schist. And the Vishnu Schist has been intruded by the Zoroaster Granite. And those two units, the Vishnu Schist and the Zoroaster Granite, are about 1.8 billion years old. So what we have then is this huge juxtaposition between the Tapit Sandstone, the Cambrian Age coastal sandstone, sitting directly on these high-grade metamorphic rocks, the Vishnu Schist, along with some intrusions of granite, the Zoroaster Granite. And that contact between the two is what's known as an unconformity, because there's a period of erosion or rock layers missing between those two layers that should exist. And that unconformity represents so much time that it's known as the great unconformity. And here it is, right here in front of you, right here at ground level, we have Vishnu Schist. So if I come over to this side, we'll probably see um, some of the vertical layering, the foliation in the schist. Um, in this case, it's been cut by a little bit of a, a quartz vein or a dike there. You can actually see some of the sparkly mica crystals in this hopefully there's a real nice one there and then sitting directly on top of that is the tapete sandstone and so this this contact right here represents the great unconformity so i'm literally touching 1.3 billion years of earth's history between these two adjacent rock types the sandstone above the metamorphic rock the high grade metamorphic rock below so the real takeaway here and, and the, what I really want to convey is the, um, the real meaning of the great unconformity is not just the time, although I think the time is really exceptional and um, worth looking at, but I think the bigger picture here for me is that these metamorphic rocks, these basement rocks here, represent a period of time when Rocks were being created at great depths below mountains, tens of miles below the Earth's surface. Rocks were being squished, heated, compressed, changed and altered into metamorphic rocks. 
and that's what forms the Vishnu schist here, um, along with intrusions of magma that then cooled and crystallized to form these granitic dikes that cut through the rock here. Um, and then a huge period of erosion, right? So these coastal sands are sitting on top of rocks that were formed deep within the, the guts or the belly of a large mountain range. And so this perfect contact here represents not just so much time, but such a drastic change from one geolog geologic setting to another. One in which we're, um, we're forming mountains and then a huge amount of erosion and uplift probably uh, to form the unconformity. And we have to plane off those mountains to such a degree that we can deposit the sandstone on top of it. Um, and so the, the great unconformity here, which is found in other places, I've actually done uh, two other videos, one in Wyoming near Cody and one in northern Utah um, in the Wasatch Mountains where we see it. Um, but it's probably best known here in the Grand Canyon where you can see the great contact here between the basement rocks in the Precambrian and the sandstones above. Sometimes along the contact we see it's a little bit more of a conglomerate with larger particles, um, which just indicates the erosion was a little more energetic. So you're breaking up larger particles during that period of time. Um, but just here's just a great view with these, the foliation, the, the pressure here that formed these uh, metamorphic rocks came from left to right from the sides. These rocks have been squeezed to form these, the layers here. And then you just have this perfectly truncated erosional surface uh, kind of looking down the line and then the sandstones deposited on top of that. So just a really exceptional view there of the Great Unconformity uh, and its exquisite preservation here in Blacktail Canyon. Um, we'll look at one more spot over here because it's just really so well exposed. And then we'll walk out the canyon mouth here and maybe give you a quick view around the the actual Grand Canyon itself. So nice little sand sand lens here within the base of the Tapete sandstone. Some of the metamorphic rocks here actually looks like they're a little bit folded or the foliation is, is bent a little here. It's more vertical at the bottom here. It's wrapping up and twisting a little bit. And then just take you down to the mouth of the canyon here where we can see all the way up through these layers and we're not even looking up through the complete uh, section here. So what we have across the way here, um, if you can see, is the Tapit sandstone and then the big cliffs forming this butte above us here. That's the Redwall limestone, a Mississippian aged limestone. Um, so there's still thousands of layers of rock above there that are out of view. But we've come far enough up the canyon in the canyon now and there, that Great unconformity surface undulates a little bit. So now as we look from the canyon floor up, we're completely within the Tapete sandstone. So let's just take you out to the river, which you might be able to hear. Like all side canyons, um, when these things have flash floods, they push out a lot of rock and debris out into the Colorado River, um, and that creates rapids. So as the canyon or the river, excuse me, gets constricted, by the flow of water. It actually um, causes the water to go a little faster. And then all that boulder and rock debris actually creates the, the floor of the river channel becomes um, irregular. And that's what creates some of the big rapids that we run when we do our whitewater rafting through here. So take you up on this little sandy berm here for a view of the great Colorado River at the heart of the Grand Canyon here, looking upstream, the ledges of Tapete Sandstone, Redwall Limestone, a little bit of the Supai group on top of that butte. And then this big debris fan here, now swinging around. We can actually see the rim of the canyon out in the distance there, thousands of feet up. And then looking back up into the mouth of Blacktail Canyon. So. Thanks again for joining me on this uh, little excursion down here at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Uh, appreciate all the support you can provide. Donate button on the banner of my 
a YouTube channel. There's a thanks button to the bottom right of the viewer. Um, and then there's a PayPal link in the video description. But be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all those things to help me promote geology and geology education. Hopefully you enjoyed this fun excursion here from the Grand Canyon, Blacktail Canyon.